Welcome back for the. Uh, welcome back. Uh, all right, welcome back for some more ballistics gel tests. Today we're going to be shooting Remington Coral Locked 170 grain 3030. And the test rifle today is my Glenfield Model 30A 20 inch barrel. We got a 4X Leopold scope up top and we're going to be firing three shots from 50 yards, which I think is very appropriate for something like a 170 grain bullet out of a 3030. Pretty typical for whitetail and black bear hunting, stuff like that. All right, let's do it. All right, we're down here at the blocks. I had to fire quite a few shots to get three bullets captured. My rifle just doesn't like these things. It was, they were kind of all over the place, but whatever, we wound up catching three of them. There they are right there. We'll put the tape measure up and see how deep they went. All right, we got the tape measure up. Let's take a look. If nothing else, they're consistent. We got one at about 23 and a quarter inches, one at 24 and we'll call it three quarter inches, and another one at, we'll call it 25 and a half inches. That's some good penetration. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig them out and we can take a look at them. And let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for those 170 grain Remington core locks out of a 3030. The high was 21.43, the low was 21.09, and the average was 21.24. Not bad, actually surprising that it's that close to factory spec. Here we're looking at those three 170 grain core lock bullets fired from the 3030, and first we'll talk about weight retention. The overall average weight retention was 151 grains, and respectively we saw 155, 151, and 146 grains for an overall weight retention of 89%. That's pretty consistent across the board and very high too. And I've gone ahead and flipped these bullets over so we can talk about expanded diameter. First of all, just look at those mushrooms. Hey, once again, these are the deadliest mushrooms in the woods for a reason, that old Remington tagline. But max expanded diameter, uh, the average was 0.65 inches and respectively we saw 0.71 inches, 0.65 inches, and 0.59 inches. So there was a little bit of variance, but overall that's a 2.1x expansion. So we beat that 2x mark that I like to see. Now we'll talk about velocity. The high velocity was 2,143 feet per second. The low was 2,109 feet per second for an average of 2,124 feet per second. The build velocity per the box and manufacturer was 2,200 feet per second. So these were a bit slow, but they were a lot closer to the manufacturer stated velocity than a lot of ammo that I've tested. These only came in 76 foot per second slow. So we're in the ballpark at least, especially considering they were fired out of a 20 inch barrel and we all know at the factory they're shooting 24 26 inch barrels that are completely unrealistic so if we had a longer barrel maybe these would even hit 2200 feet per second now let's talk about penetration this is where these bullets really shined we had an average penetration depth of 24 and a half inches that is incredible over two feet of penetration respectively we saw 25 and a half inches 24 and three quarter inches and 23 and a quarter inches so every single bullet was far past my 20 inch benchmark if you're looking for a deep penetrating 30 30 load this is the one to go for closing thoughts on those 170 grain remington core locks out of the 30 30 uh this load kind of took it by storm it had it all 89 percent weight retention 2.1x expansion velocity was close to factory spec penetration was off the charts if you are looking for a 30 30 load and your particular rifle likes these this is the one i would go for especially if i'm hunting bigger stuff bigger deer black bear wild hogs where you really want that penetration to put them down this stuff is is at least on paper and on gel it looks incredible Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.